How are you guys? Hope you're all well. Today we're going to check out this Domi Key Cherry Key Cups. Previously known for their SA offerings, Domi Key seems to compete directly with GMK. In stock and ready to ship, are these new Cherry Key Cups good enough to disrupt the current market? Let's find out. Let's unbox. Domi Key offers a lot of colorways and they are all in stock and ready to ship. It only took 3 weeks from the moment I bought them to get them delivered. If you are tired of waiting for months for your keycaps to arrive, or you need a temporary while you wait for your group buys to be fulfilled, you can check this out. They are also releasing new colorways every now and then. Chances are they have something that you will like. Domi Key came in these stackable plastic trays with carton sleeves. These trays secure the keycaps together and makes them easier to store. I bought the all-in-one kit as I think this is the best for its price, but if you only need a certain kit, you can buy them separately too. While these trays are greatly appreciated, there are some problems with them. They are molded to match the kit they come with. This means that you always need to check if the top of the tray matches the bottom one and you also need to check if the tray itself holds the correct case inside them. They are also very difficult to open. This makes changing to and from these keycaps very laborious. There's also the issue that they are not environmentally friendly. The strength of the all-in-one kit is it comes with two alphas, which means if you play around you can use them on two keyboards. You need to use the backslash key as tab for this to work. I wish Domi Key can provide an additional tab key in the future releases. These are made out of ABS plastic, which have the advantage of color vibrancy but the downside of faster shining. One thing I noticed too is that there are no sprue marks on top of the keycaps. The legends are sharp because of the double shot process, while the alternate alphas are triple shot, which means that the sub legends will not fade, unlike the UV printed one. Thickness is about the same as my GMK2. The typeface is similar to GMK as well, but the usual problems with legends other than GMK sets can also be found here. For example, there is some inconsistency with my at sign which is noticeably thinner than the adjacent keys. The sub-legend on the R key is thicker as well than that on the T and E key. Shift keys also suffer from the usual shift space T issue. Backspace is thinner as well compared to other keys. But when using my keyboard normally, I hardly notice these problems. So personally, I do not mind them. But I can see others can be bothered by this. Space bars is where Domi Key shines. Just take a look at this space bar kit. Not a single piece have a warp on them. This is highly impressive as there are reports of even GMK space bars going banana. Here is a typing test. So in conclusion, these are good keycaps. However, they are not GMK good. There's still a reason you might wanna pay the premium. And that's for the GMK quality. However, GMK cannot keep up with how much the hobby has grown. And this is where Domi Key fit in. In stock is also good for the community, especially now that years of waiting is becoming the norm. While these are not the cheapest out there, they are positioning themselves to those who want higher quality keycaps than the cheap Aliexpress and even the Aqua ones but cannot or do not want to wait and spend for GMK ones. 
That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this, consider subscribing. I'm almost at that 1,000 subscribers mark. Hit that like button and notification bell as well before you go. And comment your opinions down below. This helps us creators more than you know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.